Yo, what up everybody? CeeDee Lamb has signed. Huge news. Well, it was a formality. He was going to sign, but it didn't drag itself out, which is the best news of all. In a moment, though, I'm going to talk about the most important part of this discussion, which is how are the Cowboys going to use him? And what I am most excited about in the way I think the Cowboys are going to use him. But first, shout out to betonline.ag for sponsoring today's video. If you are as excited about CeeDee Lamb and the Cowboys this year, then run, don't walk, to betonline.ag and put a little moolah up, a little scratch on CeeDee Lamb at plus 1,400 to be the Offensive Rookie of the Year this year. I'm telling you, CeeDee Lamb, guy's going to catch 70 balls this year for 1,000 yards and be the Offensive Rookie of the Year. Do it. Do it before the number goes down, plus 1,400 right now. So CeeDee Lamb signs a contract, four years, 14 million with the fifth year option, which isn't a surprise, it's not a shock. It's just great that the Cowboys are one of the first teams to get a deal done with their first round pick. Love it. So the first thing I wanna to get to is why I'm so excited to see what this Cowboys offense is gonna look like. Because Amari Cooper, in his one plus seasons with the Cowboys, nearly two full seasons with the Cowboys, has run 15% of his routes, 14.8% out of the slot. These statistics courtesy of Warren Sharp. When he was in Oakland, he ran 20% of his routes out of the slot. So the Cowboys did not utilize Cooper as much in the slot as maybe they should have. Now you could argue they did that because there wasn't really anybody that they could mix and match with Amari like they can with CeeDee Lamb. The other part to Amari Cooper's slot production is he averages 17 yards per reception on those routes that he runs in the slot. So the Cowboys could use Amari Cooper out of the slot a lot more, and I expect them to this year. Same with CeeDee Lamb. That's what I'm most intrigued about, and quite frankly, leading up to the draft, I wanted the Cowboys to trade up to try to draft CeeDee Lamb. Stupid me, they didn't need to trade up, they just needed to stand pat at 17 and he'd fall right in their laps. Huh. But the reason that I wanted them to trade up and to draft CeeDee Lamb was because of the way that they could interchange those two by moving both either of them in the slot and either of them outside. And the, I expect them to do that a ton. CeeDee Lamb, his last year at Oklahoma, ran 26% of his routes out of the slot. So I expect both CeeDee Lamb and Amari Cooper to be the quote unquote slot receivers. Why did I say quote unquote? To be the slot receivers. I'm used to being on radio where I have to say quote unquote. Whereas I'm in a video right now, I could do the air quotes and say the Cowboys are gonna have a traditional slot receiver, but rather they're going to have both Amari Cooper and CeeDee Lamb, I would guess, be the primary slot receivers for this team. I think if I had to guess, CeeDee would be the more primary one. I didn't need to use air quotes there, but here I go again. I think CeeDee Lamb would be the more primary one, but I do think we're gonna see Amari Cooper run at least 20% of his routes out of the slot, which is something we saw obviously him do a ton in Oakland. Again, those statistics courtesy of Warren Sharp. So, I mean, you think about the ability for them to just interchange those two guys on the same side of the formation to get the right matchup they want. I mean, it's incredible. We talk about an offense that's able to be reactive, right? To react to what a defense is doing and not be really dry and vanilla and be like, well, this is what we run. This is how we're going to run it. We're not going to react to them. We're just going to do what we do and do the best version of it. This is going to be an attacking offense. They can look at the formation they're getting defensively and Dak Prescott could say, oh, no, no, I'd rather have... Yeah, I'd rather have CD outside and Amari on the inside or vice versa, just based on what they're doing defensively. And then you, now you have to make the defense react to what you're doing. And having two guys on the same side of the field that are both traditional X receivers, X receivers, there I go with my air quotes again, but they could also play the slot effectively. Good luck defending them. I mean, it, it's, it's mind blowing to think that they not only have the ability to do that, but the offensive coordinator, the head coach with the wherewithal to be able to leverage those two. And I think, Quite frankly, that's why McCarthy wanted to pull the trigger on drafting CeeDee Lamb because he knew the potential of having those two guys line up on the same side of the formation and be able to kind of mix and match them pre-snap. Now here's the other thing. If you kind of look at the, the reception breakdown from last year and the target breakdown from last year, obviously you had Amari Cooper and Michael Gallup were leaders in that, but then you had Jason Witten and Randall Cobb that were third and fourth in the team, both targets and receptions. If you had Tavon Austin to the mix, you're talking about 131 receptions that are no longer with the team. And 63 of those to Jason Witten. Thanks, Witt. Now he's a Hall of Famer. I'm not going to say anything negative about him. But a lot of those 63 will be reappropriated this year to Blake Jarwin. Now, Amari Cooper, I expect to lead the team in receptions this season. 
The question is, will it be Gallup or CeeDee Lamb that's second? And I think they're going to be pretty even in terms of the distribution chart for those two guys. I think they'll both be between 60 and 70 receptions on the season. Could even be higher than that, depending on how often the Cowboys want to throw the football. But Cooper led the team last year with 79 receptions. He'll be somewhere there, 80 to 85. Then you've got Gallup and Cooper that I think will be somewhere there between 60 and perhaps even 75. Again, depending on how much they want to throw the football. So all three of those guys can have the bandwidth to be high volume receivers. And even if you take, you know, 20, give, give Blake Jarwin 20 more receptions and get him up to 60 some receptions as opposed to the 40 he had last year, you, know, you still, I think, have enough distribution to get those three guys that kind of high volume receptions. Now, here's the ultimate question, because we obviously went through this with Des Bryant years ago. Will the Cowboys use CeeDee Lamb when it comes to the kick return, punt return game? Because really almost 100% of your punt return touches from last year walked out the door in Tavon Austin and Randall Cobb. Now Pollard factored in to a huge percentage of their kick returns and I expect Tony Pollard to still have that role this year. But will CeeDee Lamb be back there with him instead of Randall Cobb like last year? And will CeeDee Lamb be the guy to return punts? Now to me, I'd love to see CeeDee as a punt returner especially because he's a dynamic punt returner and has shown the ability to be like that. However, there's the whole issue with Dez when he got injured on punt return and do you want to put that wear and tear on him, especially if you do think you're going to get 60 to 70 receptions out of CD. Is it worth it reducing the amount of touches he'll get in the receiver game in order to get him punt returns? And maybe, I don't know, figure out somebody else that can return punts. But it's an interesting discussion that they're going to have this year um, in terms of who's going to be returning punts because 100% of your punt returns last year aside from like the one or two that Cedric Wilson had, are out the door. Maybe I'm just too excited about CeeDee Lamb, but go to betonline.ag, place a wager for CeeDee Lamb to an Offensive Rookie of the Year at plus 1400, because I think CeeDee Lamb's gonna have a great year in this dynamic offense.